Consider the numbers 1 3rd, 7, and negative 15. To which sets of numbers listed below does each of these numbers belong? So let's think about the sets first, and then that'll make it pretty straightforward to think about what 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 sets these guys are members of. So natural numbers, you can kind of view these as the counting numbers. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or another way to think about it, it's the whole numbers except for 0. So 0 is not in the natural numbers. It starts at 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Whole numbers is the natural numbers plus 0, plus 0. Integers are the whole numbers plus the negative versions of the natural numbers. Then rational numbers, these are any number that can be represented by a fraction. Irrational numbers cannot be represented by a fraction. And then real numbers are essentially all of these. So let's think about the numbers that they gave us. So let's first think about 1 third. So 1 third is not a counting number. It's not a whole number. It's a fraction. It's not an integer. It's a fraction. It is a rational number. It can clearly be represented as a fraction. So I'll write it over here. 1 third is a rational number. It's not an irrational number. There's nothing that's part of both the rational and the irrational. You have to pick between one of those two. But it's clearly a real number. So 1 third is rational, and it is real. So let's do 7 here. So 7 is a natural number. You can, When you count things, you can count up to 7. It's definitely a whole number. In fact, anything that's a natural number is also going to be a whole number. And anything that's a natural number or a whole number is also going to be an integer is also going to be an integer. Anything that is a natural number, a whole number, an integer is also going to be a rational number. Because you can represent this as 7 over 1. 7 is equal to 7 over 1. And you can do this with any, with any integer. You can just say it's the same thing as that over 1. So you can represent it as a fraction. So it's clearly not irrational, but it's going to be real. It's going to be real. And then finally, you might be saying, hey, why do we even care about real numbers? In the future, we'll be introduced to things called imaginary and complex numbers. And those aren't real. So, But most of the numbers that you've dealt with so far, they're going to be real numbers. So let's just finish up with negative 15 over here. Negative 15 is not a counting number. It's not a natural number. It's not 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. It's not a whole number, because that would just be 0 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it is an integer, though. It is an integer. So it is negative 15 is right over here. You can view you can view natural numbers as all positive integers. You could view whole numbers as all non-negative integers. And of course, integers will include negative and non-negative integers, and that's where negative 15 is going to sit. Negative 15 can be represented as a rational number. It can be negative 15 over 1. So we're going to put negative 15 right over here. If it's rational, it can't be irrational, and it's going to be a real. And it's going to be a real number. And we are done.